so proudly we hail in the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched burst so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag Okay, it looks like the 4th of July parade is starting to begin, but they're pretty a little distance down the road. I'm completely zoomed in. So I'll wait till they get here and we'll get the show on the road. Alrighty, here we go. That's the actual sheriff. Dwight and Scott 
I'm recording. Oh yeah, the good old Republican Party. They got the idea on a bottle of water. It's a nice car. for the folding of the flag. representing a new constellation. The portion of the flag denoting honor is the Canton Blue containing the stars representing the states and the veterans who have served in uniform. The Canton Field of Blue dresses from left to right and is inverted only in times of distress or draped as a pall or a casket of a burdened veteran who has served our country in uniform.
Time to folding up our nation's flag. Well, they're unfolding it first. For the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle, and kept under the watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out, and at the ceremony of revelation, run along as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. Between 1777 and 1960, the shape and design of the flag evolved into the flag presented before you today. The flag quoting ceremony represents the same religious principles on which our country was originally founded. We fold from the stripes toward the stars. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans that have departed our ranks, which have given a portion or all of their life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world, and that their sacrifices have not been in vain, and they shall never be forgotten. The fourth fold represents our peaceful nature, for as an American citizen trusting in God, it is to Him we turn in times of peace as well as in times of war for His divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the world words of our immortal Stephen Decatur, our country in dealing with other countries may she always be right, but right or wrong, she is still our country. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie, for with our hearts we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces. For it is free them that we protect our country and flag against all enemies, whether they are found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the ones who have entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that they may see the light of day. The ninth fold is a tribute to our mothers, for whom it flies on Mother's Day. It has been through her faith, love, loyalty and devotion that developed the characters of the men and women that made this country great. The tenth fold is a tribute to our fathers, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country. The eleventh fold, in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen, represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon, and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. The twelfth fold from the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. The thirteenth fold represents the thirteen original colonies that founded our republic, which now are embodied in the fifty sovereign states. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost. It takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and Marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones. By displaying the flag and giving it a distinctive fold, we show respect to the flag and express our gratitude to those individuals who served and continue to serve for freedom at home and abroad. <laughs>